Hello everyone, this is Goku Sun DBZ, and welcome to my new game review. As you hear in the background, Power Rangers theme. Hopefully I don't have any copyright issues for the music. And if so, well, screw you, Saban. So with that said, this is the game review, which I've been really waiting to do this review for a while now. But since now I have it for Switch, this is technically Switch review, though I've also played the game on the PS4 and everything. It's on multi-console, so if you have any of the platforms, get it on whatever platform. With that said, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. Based on, of course, the storyline from, nevertheless, the comic book miniseries Power Rangers Shadow Grid, which you also learn this in, obviously, the story mode in, of course, the Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, which I've uploaded the full playthrough of the story mode, so check that out if you get a chance. Also, with that said, game, you have many characters. You have, like, characters exclusive only to the comic books, such as, like, the armored uh, dragon armor trainee, which is exclusively to the comic book and stuff, and to the game, obviously. Non any previous material, obviously, show-wise. So, yeah, you have characters like that representing its own thing. Same with, of course, Lord Draken, which is, of course, Tommy Evil, and he has a merger of powers of good and evil combined. Obviously, he ends up staying possessed, and he ends up killing Rita in his world. He ends up killing Jason off, which was to become the White Ranger. He steals the White Ranger power and fuses it with the Green Ranger power. And that is how the form or design costume of Lord Draken is comes to be. He is a merger of the Green Ranger and the White Ranger powers combined together, which is also why he's so much more powerful, along with also messing with, of course, the grid, uh, the morphing grid specifically. He steals power coins from rangers from multiple different timelines, parallel dimensions. And that leads to, obviously, the big event and everything. That is Shattered Grid. Key for a story, of course, you have alternate versions in the game. Also, like, for instance, My Morphin Power Ranger, Pink Ranger, Kimberly, a.k.a. also known as, of course, Ranger Slayer. You have, of course, Classic Green Ranger, Tommy. You have Red Ranger, Jason. You have, from the My Morphin. You have, of course, many others. You have now two characters from SPD Universe. You have also characters like Gold Ranger from Power Rangers Zero. As well as you, of course, have characters from uh, Mystic Force, so far one character. You have also character from Megaforce. You have coming soon a character from Samurai and also from Jing Jungle Fury. You also, of course, have Zed, which is from multiple different shows, of course. You also have Goldar from multiple shows. Sorry. Zeo is my favorite version of the theme. With that said, overall, the gameplay is superb. If you've played a game like uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 or Marvel vs. Capcom 3, you're gonna know the game very well, gameplay-wise, because it has the same style mechanics, like you can do multiple attacks at one time that you can't do, to my knowledge, like a triple, like hyper combo type thing that you could do in Marvel vs. Capcom. But you can do assists like in Marvel vs. Capcom, and it's 3v3 and everything. And you can actually use one of your combo meters and knock your opponent out and end up facing another one. That is also a mechanic from the Marvel vs. Capcom games, specifically 2 and 3. So that is nice that there's a lot. You can tell that the creators of Battle for the Grid we're definitely fans of Marvel vs. Capcom games. Definitely. You can tell 
from the gameplay, you can tell from the overall way the mechanics of the game work, and also, I want to of course say, the netcode in this game is superb. It's excellent. I, I have seen a couple of once or twice frame rate issues with the Switch version. I didn't have any issues at all with the PS4 version. I'm sure Xbox One is the same as PS4 and Steam. But I did have a hiccup once or twice with Switch Online. But overall, still superb gameplay with Solid Online. And the game plays just as well on Switch as it does on any other console. Since I can at least validate that having two versions of the game. So with that said, if you are definitely a Power Ranger fan, even if you're not a Power Ranger fan, somebody like me that's been following the series since the early 90s. But if you have been following for years, I highly recommend you get the game. If you're just a fighting game fan, a fan of like the Marvel vs. Capcom series or something, get this game. It's more than worth it. $20 for the base game. You can get the collector's edition or whatever, which includes special extra DLC costume skins and stuff. Plus, of course, Season 1 Pass, which includes story mode and three, of course, DLC characters for like $40 for the collector's version, digital. Then, if you want Season 2, that'll be an additional 15 Or you can just get the base game, then if you decide you want to get Season 1 Pass, 15 then 15 So total, you'll be paying $50 for both Season Passes. But it's more than worth it. More than adequate, in my opinion. Definitely, I mean, speaking of somebody who bought twice. And I think it's more than worth it, and I'm glad that the game is actually doing very well. I always say wouldn't have done a season two pass, but there's so much material, so many characters, villains, and good guys from all these different universes and stuff, different Power Rangers shows. There's so much potential characters you can use in the game. It's so unique, like uh, Anubis Doggy Kruger from SPD. He's an awesome character overall. He is cool, and his gameplay, as I said in b -log, his gameplay is that of Dante, uh, not Dante, but Virgil. He plays like the Power Ranger equivalent to Virgil. But in my opinion, I give Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, I give it an A+. Keep in mind, it's a bias, nostalgia factor for me, and that I've been a fan of Power Rangers for over 20 years. So, yeah, definitely bias here, speaking, but at least I'm upfront and honest about it. But if you want an example, can a non-Power Ranger fan enjoy the game? Almost definitely. As I said, if you're a Marvel vs. Capcom fan, and you like those multi-like 3v3 games and stuff, and you like those mechanics, you want to play a modern-day version of Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Battle for the Grid is the perfect fighting game for you. The base price, I mean, is 20 bucks, so it's not going to cost you a lot. It's a budget title, plus even if you end up getting the DLC, you're still paying less than $60 with all the DLC included. That's not bad, in the least. That's a bargain price, in my opinion, and it's way better than half the fighting games out right now. And... Also, you want an example, a uh, non-fine game, non-Power Ranger fan who loves this game? Maximilian Dude. He has never watched really any, he may have watched a couple episodes when he was younger, obviously, nine of my Morphin, but he never was a Power Ranger fan, but he loves the game. Perfect example of what this game can do. If you are a big fighting game fan, and you like good classic Marvel games, you're going to enjoy this. You don't have to be a Power Ranger fan to enjoy this game. Though it doesn't help, and at least that way then you might have a little bit more knowledge on the characters, but it doesn't matter. Gameplay is superb. The story mode is great, I think, overall. It was implemented well. And all around, it's a well-rounded tile. It has a good basic tutorial mode to get the hang of the mechanics of the game. It's not that hard. But anyways, I'll get ready and knock it up, and I'll get ready to finish up with this music in the background. This will be the last thing to play in the video. Hope you enjoyed my review. 
of Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. And enjoy the theme of my favorite of the series past the originals. Yes, I'm blocking the video because at least that'll be something the bots can't get. They can get me on music, but they can't get me on video as long as I actually block video content. But anyways, as I said, I give Bow for the Grid an A+. 10 out of 10 if I was to go by my old score. And you can expect this game somewhere high on my top 10 favorite games of 2019. Have a good one.